When it comes to progression, we can be our own worst enemy. And that also goes with excuses we tell ourselves. Yeah, yeah, I know. When you look in the mirror, you say, I'm not happy with this. I'm not happy with that. Cool, I get it. So do something about it. Stop making these excuses. Now, we also tell ourselves, we tell ourselves a load of bullshit, really. In fact, I'm going to go through seven things I see people doing, people telling themselves, justifying, because they're scared to do the work. Because some people are just scared to drop fat. So they tell themselves this BS every single day. The first one is that the more I train, the more results I will get. They go harder and harder for longer and longer. And they get more and more frustrated because the body is fighting the need to recover. Yes, you go on, stimulate, don't annihilate. You go in the gym, you flick that switch, and then you start to get the results by recovering outside of the gym not just camping out in the gym. And in fact, this actually is one of the things which stops a lot of people from even starting in the first place. They think they need to get into the gym seven, eight times a week, twice a day, three times a day, just to get fat loss. No, that is not the case. Number two, <clears throat> this is one of the biggest things I see. One of the biggest excuses I see over and over and over again. And it's just an excuse people tell themselves because they say they want to lose weight, but they just aren't ready. And that is, I will start when I reach insert weight. When I reach insert weight loss, I'll start when I've dropped 10 pounds. I will start when I've dropped 20 pounds. Why? Why wait until you've dropped that weight? Why wait until you've just dropped more weight which you're not gonna have dropped because you would have dropped it by now? You're not committed to the goal. It's BS. You are not committed to your goal. The thing you say, the thing you say you want to get. The fat loss you say you want. The confidence you say you want. The way you say you want to look. Because to lose that weight, the quickest way would be to start to make a commitment, to get accountability, to do the work, to do the actual work. The thing that people shy away from the most is doing the work and they make excuses as to why they can't do the work. And then number three, number three, they've actually done some of the work. They've trained, they've done the work. Now they think, hmm, I can eat as much as I want. No. Just because you've been to the gym, you've done a few bicep curls, you've done a few rope push downs, your t-shirt muscles are popping, don't go and eat the whole of the cafe. Don't go and eat all the burgers, all the nachos, all the ice cream. Just a little bit. Just a little bit will be good. Number four is I'm training hard because I sweat. If this was the case, just judging your training session on the amount you sweat, then, then you'd be able to just drop fat by going in the sauna, right? You may drop weight. Yes, it's water weight, it's dehydration. You're not gonna feel too good up here if you get too dehydrated. Your focus is gonna go if you get too dehydrated. So don't judge your sessions based on how much you sweat. If the aircon is on full blast, and honestly, I love it, when the aircon is on full blast, because full disclosure, I don't like sweating. It smells. Number five is that if you're not sore, you're not working hard enough. That's a load of bullshit. <clears throat> don't judge your sessions based on being sore afterwards. In fact, I don't want my clients to get sore. The first time they may get sore, but if someone is so sore, and this is what stops people a lot as well. You personal trainers out there that think you've got to beast your clients to the point they can't walk down the stairs, let alone go and take a shit the next day because their ass hurts so much from the squats that you've got beast mode on. If they are that sore, it's going to be detrimental to their future sessions. Do you really think someone wants to go through that soreness every single time? No. Yes, soreness will happen. 
We're not going to get away from that. Delayed onset muscle soreness. DOMS will happen. But don't judge your sessions based on DOMS. Six. <clears throat> Crunches. Yeah. You know, summer's coming. I'm going to go and uh, do some crunches. Get a six pack. I'll do a thousand a day. Get a six pack. Dude, get in the kitchen. Do some work on your nutrition. Do a little bit of movement. Burn the fat. Then you'll get a six pack. Not by doing countless crunches. In fact, if you're doing loads of crunches, chances are you'll probably get a back injury because, you know, you're not working those back muscles as well. I've seen so many people have that happen to them. Number seven, I would just use machines. I remember the first time I went into the gym before I lost a lot of weight, nearly 100 pounds. And it was scary. I get that. This was a small country club. Not a big commercial gym or spitting sawdust gym. It was a country club, but I still did not want to go to the free weight section. I went on the cardio, became a cardio bunny. Wasn't great. Okay, I lost a bit of weight. Then I went to the machines. Now most of these machines, yeah, they'll do the work. Machines can do the work, but nothing is gonna substitute for the coordination, for the getting the amount of muscles in, getting your core working in, all this stuff that free weights happens, free weights brings to you. So get into the actual free weight section, find someone that knows the technique. Speak to a trainer there if they know the technique. Not if they're gonna go beast mode, because you don't wanna not be able to take a shit tomorrow. Just remember that. If you need some help with technique, if you need some help with getting the plan that you want, the plan that you need to get your results, come and speak to me. Or go over to revitalizationblueprint.com forward slash let's talk and apply for coaching now. I will get back to all requests within 48 hours and let you know if you're a fit. I will look forward to speaking to you soon.